The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift, but the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you, and your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. 
But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of. But now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. <laughs> Alright, settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! I'm telling you for the last time, no! I would never do that. I could never... Kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. You're in. You can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. 
too late! Mommy! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service! Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It would be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. So, this is it. The mental world. Looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in the jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart! He's not dead, his astral projection just got kicked out of my mind! And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! We can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa. <laughs> Bobby Zeltz's foot! That's what? You stupid, new kid! Yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Move, move, move! I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Onward and upward, soldier! Look! Raz! I didn't explode at all! Good hustle out there. Hey. Um, 
This is for helping me out. Okay, bye. Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a... Special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. Wood. Luca, you're a genius. Come on, Duggan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Bad. You guys are good. No passing. But I need to get to Sasha Nine's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up! I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! So where do I... 
Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Hey, Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map, duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was, because I do. Uh-huh. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course! Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah, or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh, no. Not yet. But soon. Wow. Those two are so nice. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Well, hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sage alive. Well, nice knowing you. Is that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole, because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat. So I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Thanks. I thought I was going to have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty! And the coach locked you inside it? Nah. The staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. explosion and I was wondering science Rasputin that is what we practice down here not parlor tricks if you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin brain tumbler so 
What's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Was... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Crawler would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Crawler? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent... Person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, 
sure you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. She says I need to learn how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Nothing, nothing. Prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. Here go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I can put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz. I hate to burst your bubble, but the Psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need Psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature. And cute. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Why so embarrassing? Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control. And that's what I'm going to teach you. Control. Your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Now then. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. 
You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning. Or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you side blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. That's it! I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge! So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No, here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. Little boy. I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist! But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it! But my teeth are fine. Yep! Mad brain's got to come out, boy! 
It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind! But I don't want to... Shh, 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 Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Uh, uh, get back! No! Ugh, there's no way to get me higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey! Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy... Dream Thorn Bush Straight Jacket Tower Place. Aggie Sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman, first class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. <sighs> there she is. And there you are, darling. Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, go to go. The race is starting. Lily! Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains! No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was gonna take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare! So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool! Yeah! It feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Agent Bodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Okay, let's party. Scene. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Okay, now, just between you and me, this end of the party is dead. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man.
quick like greasy lightning. I'm so proud of you, darling. You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? Who's that I see? It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star, in the flesh! And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. Okay, I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! Lily! Nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official Psychonaut's business. Wait! So is this! Official Psychonaut, eh? Hey? You forgot your- Hmm. Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Thank you. 
Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. TV. TV. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world! And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited! Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? Now get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. Admiral, sir, did you hear that? The hideous, hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Ah, well, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. The canoes are safe. No one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Mori has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there!
top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! Down here! Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow! My ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gogalor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Hey, is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore. For freedom! <laughs> The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gogalore. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnappy children do not harm the brains. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer Navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolor. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof, not get caught stealing children. Bacon. Hey, looks like you're ready to take on a new psychic power. Ready to come back and get your new merit badge? 
Yes. Alrighty then. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops! Bullseye! Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. Rasputin, come up here. There's something you should see. You're the only one left, son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official Psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. They're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here near the Sartanian mother load. The concentrated power of the Sartanium pulls my thoughts together. Keeps me like my old self. But if I leave the sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed. And I fall into one of my other personalities. With no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mocked. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sasha and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, Bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Ew. I mean, yes, sir. Gogolor, what are you doing down here? I'm trying to get to that Kachama Tower thing so I can smash it. A laser tunnel, Gogolor. We have to get through there or we'll never get to Kachama Island. But I thought... There is no I, T, Gogolor. Yeah, but there's an eye in Squish, so watch it. I'll go take out your laser tunnel, but then we're gonna talk about who's running this revolution. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Ah, now you see the genius of our plan, Gargalore. First we print flyers. 
Then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore. I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes! So rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks! And I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Cochamara Channel, to get to Cochamara Island, and destroy Cochamara Tower! The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogalore, we... uh... uh we just think it best to... to uh, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gargalore. Yes, that, and for freedom. Well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent Lugfish Navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gogalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, don't drool so much. Hey everyone! Here comes Kochamara! control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab! I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. Who is that? 
It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you? Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the evil one. You have unchained my soul, and now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. Hulking lungfish, you know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. Or, or. What? Uh... I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Oh, okay, okay, but... Who do you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Where's the milkman? I'll bet he's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. Yeah! Not another tracking device! Perfect, isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world, like I do. Ooh, sorry, um, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Hey, uh, where's the door? On the front, like most refrigerators. Ha! Dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Where is the milkman? Well, he's not in the graveyard, so that's the first place you should look. <laughs> I'd go down there myself. But I can't get in. Operatives, optics, ocularities everywhere. Be careful. They're watching all the time. Okay. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? Hello, sir. I 
am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite! Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think, we'll think, we know they know, we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched! Freeze! Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never! Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. Ah! Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What is the mission of the Milkman? Uh, uh, come closer. <coughs> and <coughs> I'll, I'll tell you. <coughs> Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like super high. As if I were flying. I know. Maybe I could find some stilts. Delicious! Hey, looks like you're ready to take on a new psychic power. Ready to come back and get your new merit beds? Alrighty then. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. <laughs> Okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. Oh, well done. That's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh... Just a minute! It better not be that creepy guy again. Who is it? Hello? Aha! Oh, hello there. Have you come to pay for your rainbow?
Hello, Tariqs. We knew you would. Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt pledge of purpose? To promote niceness. To make the world prettier. To share candy with everyone. To obfuscate the true nature of the milkman. To protect the milkman at all costs. All who would harm the milk or threaten, threaten, threaten to reveal the secret, secret objective. Go, girls! Protect the milk! I am! Do not follow! The milk is not ready, and you are not ready for the milk! you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the rainbow squirts! Enough! It's time for me to pluck out your eyes! Ha! You can't. That is the purpose of the goggles. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. And the sea shall run white <laughs> with his rage. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Wait. Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. Yes! I got a brain! <laughs> Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Yes, you and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? JT's brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it. But it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. Well, the good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya! And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. 
I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! <gasps> ah! Oh, you're back to take away everything I've worked for? Because you're jealous! <laughs> If you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. Cut! Hey, kid! Can't you see I'm trying to produce a play here? Uh, no. Oh, God! Even a child can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic. He happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Benita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. Do on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my... You're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I I supposed to bring light to those. Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. Who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus.
to take the stage. Flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Sunshine! The spirit of her youth! Played tonight, once again, by Bonita Soleil! Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me! Not again! <gasps> the Phantom! I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse, improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. He's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe! She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. Can't say something nice. Don't say anything at all. The young boy's protest, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars! You hate the show so much. Why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lines. Later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Hey, there's the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Excuse me, Mr. Rolls, but do you have any more scripts? Ah, uh, you've tasted excellence, and now you're back begging for another bowl of quality theater? Not really, but I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the phantom. Well, unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest for Broadway. Just dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway, so give up. You're mean and fat. And? Just giving you the update. Goodbye, Hagatha Home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, Props, is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. 
That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you wanna get up to the catwalks. And... action! I see them floating here now in a magical balloon. Hey, cue the magical balloon, moron. Hey, there's no magical balloon on this set, but that won't stop me from jumping down there and kicking your ass. So watch it. Whatever is wrong, little girl? Well, my family has left me alone in a bad, bad place for many years, and I don't know if they will ever come back for me. Oh, I don't worry. I'm sure they'll come for you, and you will never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yay! The end. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom. Stop, or your next step will be your last. Cruel sunlight, anything but that. No, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering the men. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. <laughs> okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> How can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? You 
listen to me? You're no good. This place stinks. It's worse than ever before. Oh, I can't believe you call this theater. I, I can't even see it from down here, but I know it's bad. Can you hear me? Oh, you've got fat arms, you hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler. And a little cheeky double hanging from your neck. Ugh, your knees are ugly. And you snort when you laugh. <laughs> Handsome, the spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? <laughs> oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. <laughs> Le jeu de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. How Chloe sneezed this one through that helmet will never know. Better give Maloof's brain to Mikhail ASAP so we can protect it. Chaps, what is up, eh? Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got that stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hands should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. Hey, why don't you just take a little nibble of that and see if I can taste it too? Huh? Do you have any advice on the current situation? Let's find a way into that as we regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Good. Now? So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please. You have your plan, I have mine. But... Say no more. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See, now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. Oh, man. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know? I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No. Actually, I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Cruller? What is the current since you're back into the field? Okay. Let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. You'll have to excuse me. I'm busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France! Sacre bleu! I have been hit! Winning. Nobody's winning! Want to know who's losing? The Bonaparte family name! Look, I forfeit, okay? You win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is that the real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? 
Yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that shameful fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swine who dares to call himself a Bonaparte. No, really, great-great-great-grandpa Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I love it so much, you can go now, I swear. Your move! Who's winning now? <laughs> What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You, destroy that bridge for France. For France. I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you. Ha <laughs> ha, suck on that bridge. Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Ha <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors... Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Maybe. Good enough. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. I'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. for the army of Fred Bonaparte and... Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him! What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Hey, Fred. The problem is people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, Milky Toast. Shut up. They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yep. Huh. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Hey, 
I have an important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. Well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Okay, hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Sorry, I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh, okay. Want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Okay, snails, it's time to serve the cause. So be it. If it is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow. Right on. Yes. Ah! Ah! Take that! Die! Duh! I kill you! Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it, Fred! You have accidentally done something right! I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu! I hate bridges! Ah! Fast is for killing my father! Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges! You're making me mad! I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army. And Fred really cares. What's the pay? Hey, check out this coin I found. Money! Oh, man! Well, I'm off to die in battle, dear, for an incompetent leader who'll never know my name. I hope you remarry well. More of that negative talk. So she doesn't spend it all on scrapbook making supplies. She's got nuts about that stuff. Part of the reason I'm so ready to die. Anyway, let's go. War ahoy! Not bad, Fred. What? What I do? You're doing better than usual. And I hate to end the fun, but I guess it's time to put an end to this, as usual. <laughs> Guard the bridge to the stronghold with your life! None shall pass! Hello. I'm recruiting soldiers for the army of the caring and generous Fred Bonaparte. Weapon. What? Weapon. That's what I want. I'm not gonna die like the others, okay? That's the spirit. You get me my special musket, and I'll come out. I think I left it buried in some hay in that heavily guarded building over there. No, no. Then I'll sign up and kill me some Napoleon lovers. Got it? Be right back. Okay, there's your special musket. Ready? All right, now I'm all set to go rob that stupid carpenter. What? I got you that gun so you could fight Napoleon's army, not the carpenter. I've been trying to break into his house for days now, but he's always got a fire going, so I can't get down his chimney. Well, could you just fight this one lousy soldier first? He's kind of in the way anyway. Okay, but just as practice. Where is he? 
Oh, wait. Have to reload here. Die. Uh, I kill you. But I... How? Retreat! Everyone into the stronghold! Rest the drawbridge! Immediate more! Jam the mechanism with something! Anything! Hey! You can't jam the gears! That's cheating! All is fair in love and war! You have fought well, but that is far as you shall go, my friend! Ha! We'll see about that! Fred? Was that you? Yeah! Come on! We're winning! All we have to do is unjam those gears! I'm on it, General. All right, let's take Napoleon's stronghold and win the game. Game? War! Woo! Yes, the stronghold's wall is thick, but I shall crack it open like a shell. And I will rip that shell off and... and saute it in butter and eat it and gorge to my heart's delight. Concentrate. War time. Right. Well, just move me over there and take that snail. Stronghold. Stronghold! <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. What? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe. Finally! I can resign myself back into my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one. The one in Waterloo? Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me in orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep. Right after I take a nap. Yes. Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you. Just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, man. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Hey, how's that painting of Dr. Lobato coming along? You know, I'll deliver it for you as soon as it's finished. Silence! I am conceptualizing. Hmm, what is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. That 
That's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. All day she cries rose petal tears, and I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes! Uh <laughs> playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. Man, I miss those dogs. Huh. So the cards? You know where they are? Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens, but that's all. Can't do much with four queens, can you? Those are exactly the cards I need! Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention you're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. I think I hate that bull a lot. Oh, trust me. You'll hate him even more as time goes by. When he first trapped me in this alley, I thought he was only mildly in What do you mean, trapped? Are you a prisoner of art just like Edgar? I'm a prisoner of that stupid bull. I don't want to get gored, so I hide out in the alley like a like a low down. Hey, promise me you won't take this the wrong way. But you are a dog. Yeah, but I'm a sacred dog, man. I should be up in the highlands above the tree line, take a brandy around my friggin' neck, seeing the world, and finding more things to paint than this junk, which is all for sale. Hey, I'd get out of this alley. We're trapped in here, son. Art is our only escape. Is that like a metaphor, or do you mean that if I take one of these paintings, I can use it to get out of here? If you take one of these paintings, I'll bite you on the leg. If you buy one, it could help you get out of here. They're magic. Hey, I'm off. Well, see ya. Keep off the street now. Introducing... Fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa, Tiger! <laughs> Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty-night. I am awake. Good. Because it is bedtime for you, snack size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then. All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. Ha! Sleep tight, kitty. for you, Edgar. 
That is exactly the card I need. Yeah, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys the chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Could you tell me again about your dog friends? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about El Odio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. Who can do it? Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo in Flagrante, the infamous Matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But... <laughs> okay, here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Dan Peter Pazionado. He seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair, and since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Whoa, that's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah. Good idea. I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. Yeah, but Collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe with a diamond kick me sign on the back. Gotta go. Be good. Introducing, fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings, Dragon! Yow! What's that smell? That smells like fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur! <laughs> it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you late? Did you hear that? Here you go, Edgar. One step closer to her. Edgar Tegley sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't give discounts or... You don't think he's famous? Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does not make you a famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hey, there's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble. Especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean, wild animals? Like dogs, eh? Oh, you got a problem with me now? No. I just meant wrestlers can be tough. I didn't mean you. Oh, you don't think I'm tough now? Why? Because I'm a Dalmatian? Hey, we can't all be St. Bernards and Bulldogs, you know. Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he... He choked. Cost the team the entire match. 
why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? No. Edgar's girlfriend, Lana Panzoni, dumped him after the first period for Dean LeGrant, the head of her cheerleading squad. Heckling was worthless after that. The other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh, right. Yeah, they exist. Not made up at all, those two. Sheesh. Hey, I got some original Picassos over here if you're interested, by the way. See ya. Yes, run. Run from the horror. Introducing, back from a crushing victory and someone might lose a tooth in Duluth, Eagle! This one was a real pain in the butt to get. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. You must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? I don't just hand those out. And that's a good lesson for you. Anticipate disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. A towering advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a terrible idea. Here's a better one. You go get that billboard painted and I'll reward you handsomely. Which is how I do everything. As an advance, I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it if anyone gets stubborn. really go out there and stop that bull. Elodio and I will fight someday, in the ring, and he will die. But not until we have a good media buzz first, so get out there and make that lazy dog paint my billboard. Hey, uh, you really gotta get that billboard painted. Okay, man, here's the plan. Step one, I quit, we. Step two, we, which is now just you, runs out there and gets killed painting the billboard. Maybe I can distract the bull while you paint. It's so crazy, it just might work. Or maybe it's so crazy that it's just extra crazy. There's absolutely no way I'm going out there now. Come on, you're a bulldog. Show some backbone. Plus, who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Boy, dog, brain. All right. Great! When I say go, boy, get moving. Hmm... It's not great, but I suppose it's just barely good enough. Come see me if you still want your reward. You know, your advice didn't work. Really? Then here's some new advice. I don't know what you're talking about. How about that reward? Fine, then. One... autograph. You know, my bulldog friend could still paint a beer gut on that poster out there. 
All right, here, take this. But I warn you, I won't be able to sign it. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! Nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tedley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, whip. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look! I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smedley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously, I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. I beat you just like I did in high school, loser. Wait, who am I? Like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. 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 I knew you would save me someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? El Odio. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Edgar? <laughs> Where am I? Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen! There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo! What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the Junior? Yeah, we were full on Varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! o. Give me a B. They B. stole me my B. happiness! Give me, give me an my life! Give me an the o. state o. semi-finals! Everything! No! Wait! Edgar! Ha ha ha! He never learns. Oh no! I can't believe I stuck four of those barbed poles in his back. They're called banderillas. I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. <sighs> Edgar, look at them. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. Um, uh, I, I always loved 
loved you more? Deliver this to my Patronas. You may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No ball? <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have no rage. Amazing! Hey, I like it. Ah, you see, the poor dumb beasts have no thumbs, so I ask you, how are they holding their cards? Uh, st uh, sticky paws? It should be impossible, and yet somehow they go on playing the game. In the end, Rasputin, aren't we all just dogs playing poker? Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favorite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate Look. Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... you're... Armed. <laughs> Well, here I am, up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum, wearing a straitjacket, talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. Bobby Zilch, I didn't know you had a brain. <laughs> Man, I wish you were here for that joke, Bobby. Dogen Pool, I told you I'd get your brain back. Good. Now? And that's how the coach is planning to take over the world. <laughs> wow. That is so not chill. Hey, where's Phoebe? We're gonna be rebraining her really soon. Well, when she comes out, she's gonna want to hit stuff. I better go wait by her drums. And that's why we have to find Lily right away. That is some crazy stuff, guys. I'm kind of glad I was out for most of it. Well, with the world ending and everything, I should probably go see what girls want to make out one last time. So I said Brainer? I don't even know her. <laughs> Crystal! So, any questions? Is Elton okay? Well, he'll be fully brained soon. I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. Scared? You better believe I was scared. You'd have to be a fool not to be. But the trick is to never let them see you sweat. Wow. I guess that's what those squirrels were trying to tell me. Huh? They kept saying, the tiny man is gonna kill everyone. I thought they were talking about me. Oh man, I have to go apologize. And that is how I beat the hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. Hmm. So, does the coach, uh, does he have an evil sidekick? A yes man? O or a lick spittle? Anything? Not sure. Why? Uh, no reason. Bye. And then the lungfish ate me and we became best friends. Oh my god. I know. I mean, oh my god! I know. No! Yes, and because you got your brain stolen and I didn't, yes, I do. I think I'm better than you. Aha! I knew it! Well, you're wrong! Have fun dying! So that's who's been kidnapping all the kids. Oh, man. I just want to burn that coach. Hey, 
Where's Quentin? He's waiting for you in band practice. He better not be painting the wrong band name on my drums again. And that's how I earned all my merit badges. OMG! I feel so stupid for throwing myself off the roof now! What? Why did you throw yourself off the roof? Because the poison didn't work. Listen, I have to go. The world could use some major league cheering right about now. Worthless! These brains are worthless, Shigo. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. No, no, no. They're nice. They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lovato. Really? They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brains. I squeeze them, I poke them, I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not going to bring you any more brains if you're going to be so mean to them. No matter what I do? No, no matter what? Not even if I... No, don't! Oh, not even if I no, cook you a little... Doctor, no! A little turtle soup? Nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. You leave Mr. Pokey alone! Oh, okay. <laughs> you sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles. Turtles that you love. Isn't that right, Mr. Pokey Love? <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo, or Mr. Pokey Loop becomes Mr. Smokey Loop. <laughs> You're a dentist. You have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. The man you're working for is a deranged lunatic. I know. I hate him. But if I don't do what he says, you... You... Cook your little turtle from the inside out. <coughs> she, your hostage situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. Sasha, Mia, Lily, Raz, you came. Of course I did. We gotta get you out of here. Look, the coach must have lured Sasha and Mia here on official Psychonauts business and then ambushed them with sneezing powder. They're completely brainless. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh man, I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less flummy. Wait, he didn't just hear. Ah! Get away from me! Stop reading my mind! Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can help us break this lock. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now, here's what we're gonna do.
That's what you always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. No, oh, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Don't worry, baby. Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. I can't watch! It's time to make the soup. and easy. <laughs> You're so funny, Mr. Pokeloop. Someone's got chocolate bread. Someone does. But Rasputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery is... That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But Shigor here knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Well, if you can lead us to them, we can bring them back to their owners immediately. Ahem! Immediately after we break young Ms. Zanato here out of her restraints. Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door! <gasps> Oleander! You! You took all my friends' brains! You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster! You stole all the teachers! Derailing my education! And you kidnapped my girlfriend! Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants, so trust me. I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this! You tall people! Sasha! We get to kill him too! Ah. Well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh, this looks bad. <laughs> ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh no, I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Boyd! Long time no see! Oh, Mr. Orderly! <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax, the asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab?
and the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender never! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the Psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 Wow. Wow. my fight. I was ready for that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV? <laughs> TV? Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win! <laughs> This is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. Call me Maury or Ollie. 
Coach Oleander? What are you doing in my mind? How did you get in my happy meadow? Nobody's supposed to know about it. You didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> oh, that's him! Oh no! Come on, little bunny! We'll be safe in here! Okay, the circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No! No! Little bunny, don't go in there! That's a bad place! That's a bad place for bunnies! You gotta help me save the bunny! If he just holds still, I could catch him and hide him from my dad! He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. That's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Uh-oh. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Okay, those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No, it's not safe. He's coming. Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing. Nothing but food. Here, yeah, little bunnies. Ah! Don't run or else daddy's gonna kill you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? What have you done to our circus? Dad! Polluted. Perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. I can explain. Have you been associating with psychics? Dad, I... Psychics. Fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water! Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got? Cheated! No! I used the acrobatics you taught me! Don't lie to me, cheater! You crystal ball readers always cheat! You're no son of mine! Only, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over 
over there talking to your dad. He did what? Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get grounded. Make that ground. <laughs> I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics! Is that really... Is that really how I look in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics! And seeing my son happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you and to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic if you're psychic too? Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. <laughs> a lot more hair than that. Now, son, we have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Unweave? The tangle? Never! I like it this way. I mean, Look at how huge I am! And I think I can juggle now! <laughs> this is your mind, so you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you, my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. Now, Rasputin, he'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! And so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in CAT scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. Mistakes have been made. But this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz! 
We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else, long before he came here. But we can give him this, to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. No, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad! Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what are you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go. 